Hey guys, it's Catlin with SSO. Uh, today we have a lower shock guard. Um, if you've, you've gotten your package, you've probably got two of these and a set of these, and that's all you need um, as far as hardware. We're gonna come back around the back. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install this and show you what tools you need and uh, a, little, a few tips that kind of help you out. All right, now we're in the back of the vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna kind of walk you through uh, what we're gonna do. Uh, this does not require you to jack up the vehicle or remove the wheel, but removing the wheel will make it easier. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple tips um, uh, that are, are optional, but also will help you too. Um, the tools you're going to need, um, first of all, you're going to need a 27 millimeter socket. If you don't want, have one, you can go to your local auto parts store and usually you can rent one if you need to. I would just buy one. Um, I'm going to use an impact. Uh, if you've been on the forums, this is a very hard bolt to break. Um, you know, use a breaker bar or something like that. Just be careful. But um, I'm going to use an impact today. Um, I've got a 14 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter ratchet, uh, either one, uh, a clamp. I'm going to show you what to use this for too. This is this is just a helpful thing. You could do it without it. Also, masking tape, also optional. I'll show you why I would use some. Um, all right, so we're going to break this loose. Um, you don't need a, a wrench because Ford has built in this little tab. All right, so this nut here, um, it's got this little, little, this little wing, this little ear um, welded onto the, the nut. And what's going to happen is as I loosen this bolt up on this side, this thing's going to swing around and hit this leg up here. So that, what that does is keeps me from having to use another wrench. So all you need is an impact on this side, and as you loosen it up, this thing will walk itself out. Uh, I'm going to loosen it up just to the end. I'm going to put my finger back here. When I feel that nut at the end of here, uh, I'm going to stop. You don't have to remove the nut all the way. These, aren't, these little brackets coming down are so long, though, they're going to start to spread on you because you have, once this bolt starts loosening up. That's why I have this clamp here. So we're going to put this clamp up here and we're going to uh, cinch it down. That way when I loosen things up, it doesn't start spreading on me. Before I start loosening my bolts, uh, I want to try to prevent this from spreading out, walking out on us. Uh, I'm going to use this clamp. You need a clamp that'll open up about four inches or more. Um, we're, going to, we're going to grab this extra meat up here on top. I'm just going to cinch it down until it's nice and tight. But I still have room to get my, my, my socket on to the bolt. All right, I'm using impact with a 27. I'm gonna come over here. Ready? I'm gonna feel for that bolt to end right at the end of the, the nut. All right. Now, I'm remove this clamp. Well, let's leave. we're gonna leave the clamp there. Can. So now what we have to do, our goal is to try and get a gap here big enough for this piece of 3 16 to go through. So we're going to have to tap on the end of that bolt, try not to scar it up. Um, we're just going to tap it to where I get enough gap there. See how it moved? Now that your bolt is loosened up and you have a nice gap there. Um, this is going to go directly up from the bottom and that bolt is going to fall inside here. Your nut's going to be on the outside, bolt head's going to be on the outside here. This bolt and nut here will be passing through this hole and through the hole on the side of the um, lower shock mount bracket. So with the clamp still on, um, if you have any trouble getting this on to where it will clear, um, you may have a gap up in here. You can use your clamp to kind of close that gap up, close these brackets closer. Um, mine's ready to go. I'm just going to go straight up there. And we're going to be lining this hole up with this hole here. Coming up. All right. It's in there. Now, this bolt is going to go through here like so. Um, if you got long enough nimble fingers, skinny enough fingers, you can get down inside here and just kind of hold, hold the nut in there and get it started. Um, if you're having trouble, most of the time it's going to fall and it's going to fall down in here and you're going to be retrieving it. 
take a piece of mask and tape and tape it on the back side of your your um your wrench to edit this part I'll take a piece of small small piece of uh, mask and tape and I'll put it on my wrench I'm gonna put my little nut inside there and make sure it can't fall off now you can reach down in here so I'm gonna fall in here I'm gonna line that hole up and get my bolt started And we're going to cinch it tight. Ooh, I'm going to set your camera. All right, and now we just pull it off. Tape comes with it. Bolt stays in. Now, all we have left to do is tighten her up. We can go ahead and take this clamp off now. Uh, everybody's started and our impact 27 and there you go it's protecting the front of your reservoir here on these bill stains um, it's nice and tight um, we'll put some torque specs down here I'm not sure but it's like a bazillion torques so you can't really ever do it just don't strip your, your bolt um, this is from what I've heard the hardest thing for you know the people at home to do um, just try to get the right equipment to do it um, but don't hurt yourself um, but breaking this bolt loose is from what I hear on the forums the hardest thing to do um, and then just to repeat the same thing on the other side these uh, these brackets are um, identical so there's no left and right and um, good luck.